two of you in here, and guess what? I'm going to go shut a door. Hold on. Be right back. I'm live, and I'm walking away. Trevor, you're good. Leave it on. Or am I too loud? I'm too loud. Okay. Well, I'll wrap it up quick. But, uh, guys, it is time for another Knives Fast Lives Fast for a Sunday afternoon. There are three of you here. Looks like Marco, Angelo, and Stevo. Marco, Angelo, Stevo. That's good. We got all the O's in here. I like it. Um, so, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. I'm sitting here editing some videos like I always seem to do on a Sunday afternoon. I uh, Between yesterday and today, I've recorded like, oh, gosh, like eight uh, videos. And so I'm editing those slowly but surely. Uh, will take me the next uh, year or so. Uh, Tim, you you enjoy that, buddy. Have a happy Sunday. Hey, Robo Stevo. Look at this. We got Maxilla. We got Stevo, Marco, Angelo, and Robo Stevo. We got lots of OOs in here. Scott Benefield, too. Delta Nine, Aries, and Tim B. But he's at the park with his daughter. Look, go push the daughter on the swing or uh, let her go on the slide or whatever it is. You don't have to listen to this bald guy. Uh, it's okay. What's up, Jim? Got me too. Nice. Did you actually get a uh, a Alicord, a pocket razors? Uh, hey, Jim Miller. Jim, did you get a, a notification? Hey, Top Dog. Uh, what is going on, everybody? Acid Test Kids. Uh, I was just looking at the uh, the uh, leaderboard from today, and it looks like Kristen just decided to crush everybody like a bug. Uh, Acid Test Kids. Uh, there we go. On the swing, not off the swing. Yes, exactly. Hey, Dang Ross. Oh, not too much. Good to see you, man. Hey, Addicted, what's going on? Oh, you got no everybody's getting notifications today. What is the deal? Look at this. There's 22 people. Hit that thumbs up, guys. We definitely want to see those like numbers go up today. I'm trying to get a knife out of my pocket. I couldn't get it out. That's one thing to talk about in the review. This clip is a little tight, but all good. Tyler... Gets back from enjoying an all-day-long baseball fest. Right, Tyler? Nope. No? Okay. Uh, what's up, Bron Dobbins? Good to see you. Well, I don't know how in the world y'all actually got... Hey, Robert Feely. I don't know how in the world you guys actually got the uh, notification, but congratulations. I'm glad you did. That is pretty awesome. So good. All right. First knife in the pocket today is um now i'm gonna be clearer this time when i said this this is the real steel pathfinder ffg now it's important to say that uh there was a pathfinder and it was a bush crafting knife and it was more of a scandy grind uh this is a quite obviously a full flat grind which is the pathfinder ffg uh 14c and contoured titanium very very cool in an axis style lock. Um, this one, uh, yeah, you can get $15 off anything at Real Steel, by the way, with my code Knives Fast. So if you go to their website, realsteel.com, I think, you can get anything on their website for $15 off with code Knives Fast. So that is cool. Dude, she's, she's unbelievable. She just, when she turns it on, they're all toast, man. Man, I don't know. With this shirt, I can't read the chat, guys. <laughs> Let me see. Here, I'll come like this. Maybe I can read. No. Uh, it's just too much going on in my shirt. What's up, LCV? Good to see you. Scott Benefield. Hello, hello. Yeah. So it's a chunker. It's a big knife. It's got this bulge right here in the handle uh, and like a dip here and a dip here. So uh, it feels really nice in the hand. Definitely could use this for work or for a bush crafting if you wanted to. Um, but it's got a full flat grind. Um, and yeah, kind of digging it. And again, I like the fact that they, uh, when they reached out to me, the first thing I asked is, hey, any chance I got a discount to pass along? And they said, yep, go to our website and tell them Knives Fast and they get 15%. Um, or is it, no, $15 off, $15 off. If I said percent, that is incorrect. $15. Hey, Johnny Justice. <laughs> I love to have a job making knives. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool for sure. For sure. Um, it depends on, you know, again, I think it'd be more fun if you got to like be the creator of them than just working on an assembly line, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that it would be fun. Hey, sharp guy. What's up, man? 
Uh, I was just up watching the Masters, and I'll probably go back to that here in a minute with my son, my one of my other sons, um, and uh, watched a little disc golf earlier, so that's good. Uh, next in the pocket today, guys, this, we haven't talked about this yet. My unboxing comes up on this tomorrow. This is the Bowie uh, uh, Pyrite from CJRB. So it's a button lock. It's the Pyrite like you're used to, Pyrite handle, but you have a Bowie blade. And what we're not talking about yet is this finish. Look at that. It is a crazy distressed black wash. Um, this is something I've not seen. It almost looks like some sort of marble for your countertop or something. You know what I'm saying? How crazy is that? So you have the thumb studs like you're used to, but you now have a fuller. And that is my favorite part of the buoy. And let's just all get this straight. Uh, when CJRB decided to do a buoy, they just jumped on it. This is a buoy through and through -y. Ha! Come on, Trevor. That was good. <laughs> I need to retire. I'm coming up on 20,000 subs. I can't retire now. Okay, fine. Um, Trevor's making fun of me, y'all. Come on, a buoy through and through. That was pretty good. I'll use that in the review. I have a job collecting knives. The pay is terrible. There you go, Steve. Uh, looks like it hasn't been cared for. Yeah, I could see that, but it is smooth, smooth. Uh, very nice, and this guy is great in the hand and an aggressive-looking blade. Uh, of all the pyrites, this may be my favorite um, as far as the blade shape, if you know what I mean. I do like the Warney, but this is cool. Hey, Johnny. Uh, oh, yeah, I said hi to you, but good. I'm glad you like it. Top Dog, hope you're doing good as well. Jim said barf. Oh, you don't like the, you don't like the, uh, the finish? Really? Oh, Jimmy, Jim, Jim. I like it. Uh, and look how they left it nice and dark in the slot there. I mean, it's actually dark, but it's polished in the hole. That is pretty cool. Did a compilation video of all the knives I have made this year so far. Ooh, is it out? It's got to be out or you wouldn't be telling me about it. Um, but that's the second one in the pocket today. Oh, shoot. Shoot. All right, guys, we're going to have to do this again. Trevor, sing a song. No, don't sing a song. I'll be right back, guys. I left something upstairs. Don't sing a song. La, 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 don't, la, you'll la, get me banned. La, la. I left a knife on the bed. Uh, he's very slow. He's struggling. Oh, he face planted. Oh, he's dead. Uh oh. I told him you're dead. I'm dead? I died? He face planted. Did you guys sing, uh, did you, did you, like, do taps? Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Man. By the way, uh, I sprayed waterproofer in the bathroom earlier, and it stunk, guys. I almost died from the fumes. And now uh, there's fingernail polish out in here, and I'm going to die from that. Most likely. Death. All right, so uh, this is the, um, I had this in my pocket earlier, and I took it out. Uh, and put it on the bed. But this is the mini Canadian from Bark River Knives. I'm out of breath now. Uh, oh, it's all good, Sterling Stutes. Good to see you. Hey, Gons, what's going on? Everybody hit that like button. There's 46 in here and only 17 likes. Um, so this is a convex ground beauty. 3V steel. This is the mini Canadian from... Bark River, very good knife, very slicey. Um, I like the uh, the sheath. What do you guys think of that sheath? Pretty sweet for sure. Um, decent, you know, decent size EDC knife, if you will, the way it carries. I had it just dropped in the uh, cargo pocket today, so it worked really good. EDC butter knife, sure. Sure, if you want to use it, but this is made after a Canadian, like a Canadian belt knife. Uh, so it's kind of almost got that Shyland cutter look from uh, the uh, Vastid uh, Nightshade. Uh, but this is a traditional Canadian belt knife is what this is. Da -da -da. Oh. Well, don't do that, Ross. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry to hear that. Hey, Knives Are Life. 
Uh, well, I mean, if you like big knives, there's plenty of those too, especially for Bark River. They got lots of big ones, but I really dig this. For EDC, this is a fantastic knife, and you could, I, I bet you anything, you could skin an animal with this um, for sure. All right, if you guys want to tell me at least one knife you're carrying today, I don't know if I'm going to read a big long list, but if you want to put in what you're carrying today, uh, I will definitely check it out. And let me know. And uh, yeah, if you don't like the Vertical Lives, uh, tell YouTube because they're the ones that made these like gold right now. They are working for my channel like crazy uh, for views, for growth. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. So uh, we're going to keep doing these and, and, and I love doing them. They're fun. Uh, we do a little short one usually. We're on here for 15 to 20, maybe 30 minutes. And we have a little fun, and that's that. And so I really enjoy that aspect of these. My EDC Wii Esprit Devo Mash EMP Nimble. Very good, Ron. Uh, XM18 and an Aries EDC Damascus Rock Hopper. Dang, dude. Bark River Aurora. Aurora. Um, we Exiton for Jim. Devo Airstream. Dang, Steve. Nice. Scott Benefield, Microtech MSI. As a test kids, Protech SNG, all DLC coded. Uh, no knives, uh, Sean. Go get you a knife, man. <laughs> Top Dog, Kaiser Dogfish, Manly Wasp, Phoenix uh, PD40 V3. Very cool. 40R V3. Very nice. Medford 187, a big chunk for big cheese. That is a massive knife. I've reviewed one of those. There you go, gods. I don't get paid enough. Oh, I got you, man. Oh, there's plenty of cheap knives out there. Just go to go to Kubi, Kubi Shopping, K-U-B-E-Y Shopping.com and use code KnivesFast. I mean, excuse me, KC37LT, and that'll get you 37% off of a D2 knife, and you get it for about 26 bucks if you get if you pick a D2. Uh, bladed knife. So, yep, there's plenty of good deals out there. Nice. Thank you, Angelo. Oh, God's this new video. Well, I'm sure you watch mine too. Oh, very cool, Cap. Uh, glad you're here, and I'm sorry it's raining today. We we have wind today, but no rain. Uh, just got the Astro Spirit Warncliffe Silver Knife. Yeah, very cool, Ron. I like that silver twill carbon fiber. It is a beautiful, very, very nice for sure. Anybody else? What else you guys carrying? There you go, Angelo. <laughs> hey, if you watch one, I'm happy, man. Thank you. If they bore you, don't tell me. <laughs> Dude, do me a favor. Keep it to yourself. Um, all right. Ask the test kids. Okay. Sold a kid. <laughs> uh, don't be selling your kidney, man. That's not good. Okay, you got to have those kidneys. Kidneys are kind of important. He said he sold his kidney to buy a knife. You kind of got to have those, I think. I'm pretty sure. Rain is good, actually. Vegetation will be greener, and I like to sleep during the rain. There you go. Very nice. Raven Quest butterfly knife for Johnny. Okay, Johnny, there you go. Not familiar with that one, and I would cut my fingers off with a butterfly knife. So you keep it. Keep it away from me because I wouldn't have any fingers. Um, yeah, only one is fine. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, I try to be uh, Ron. Sometimes I get frustrated with myself. and I recorded some today, and I was just like oh, all over myself. I need to learn to relax, but I do have a lot of fun with them, so I'm glad you noticed that. Yeah, one is all you need. You don't have to have a big collection or anything if you want... Oh, one kidney. I thought we were saying one knife. <laughs> yes. You know, my, my sister was born with one kidney and only has one. So, yes, you can live with one kidney uh, for a long time. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't recommend selling body parts to buy knives in any way. Don't do that. That This just in, Knives Fast says keep all your organs. Don't sell them for knives. <laughs> you guys are crazy, man. Yep. One of everything. Okay, all right. Yeah, I try to do that, Gons, because if I watch it over and over again, I just get mad at myself. 
because I forget things. I But I think that's what I like most about my videos and, and what most of you have told me is the sort of random nature of them. When I tried to script stuff early on, it was very blah, 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 blah. And so I try to just say what comes to my mind. But th the bad part about doing that is sometimes you forget things. I did a video yesterday where I forgot. I mean, guys, I do comparisons every time. And I didn't do any comparisons. And I finished the video and I'm like, oh, crud. But I just, you know what I did? I waited for the next review and said, oh, for those of you that watched my video yesterday, here's your comparison. <laughs> so it worked. Uh, yeah, that, that nobody would nobody would take your organs, Jim. At this point, <laughs> there you go, addicted. That's good. Don't sell your body parts. Sell others. No, let's not do that. Uh oh, Jim, what happened, man? I don't want to know. But uh, good, good to see everybody. Make sure you're hitting that like button, guys. Uh, whoa, it helps the channel an awful lot. I appreciate it. So tell you what, we're just going to reach up here in the grab bag of knives and see what um, I reviewed a bunch and sent a bunch off. But we're going to look at real quick what is left in the review drawer, okay? Now, you guys know, if you've heard me talk about it, there's a billion flashlights. I, I, I'm missing a light here. Here we go. Sitting over here waiting for me to do a video, and I'm going to get to it, uh, I promise, I have just been so busy with renovation today. I'm waterproofing the shower, so I sprayed and wiped it all down, and now I'm getting ready to do a second coat as soon as I'm done with this. and It smells like absolute trash. Uh, thank you, good Delta. What? Good what? It smells horrible. It smells like chemical <laughs> death like is what it's... What did you think I was going to say? See, get your mind out of the gutter. What's wrong with you over there? By the way, if you're going to Blade Show Atlanta this year, the most interesting person you could possibly meet in that whole show is going to be at my table. Trevor is coming to Blade Show, and you guys get to meet Trevor. Maybe he'll even, like, sign something for you. Uh, you know, who knows? So, tips come, are accepted. Tips are accepted. Okay. Uh, yeah, Trevor's broke. I am paying him a little bit for helping me at Blade Show, and I'm buying him food, so he's happy with that. Um, but I said all, as yeah, he said friend. all I had to do to pay him was give him food. Good food. Good, good food. Okay. Not just food. You said food. Like if you give me a sub, I'll punch you. <laughs> we may have a sub. No. The, during the day at the show, it'll, you'll be lucky to have a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> we don't leave the table, so we're gonna have a cooler. Now we'll put like ham and cheese and whatever you like in the, in the uh, probably eighty five protein bars, in the uh, room. And for lunch we'll just have a cooler. But then at dinner I'll take you nice places. Okay. Uh, hey, that's a great idea, Delta. Here's what we'll do. I'm putting Trevor on the spot. Trevor. Yeah. People should be able to walk up to the booth and have you do a turbo review of their knife. You okay with that? Yeah. All right, so if you come to the booth with your carry, hand Trevor one of your knives and say turbo review, okay? And we'll we'll talk about that a few times and then he's got to just come up with it. Maybe if I'm if I see it if I'm not busy, I'll record a few of them, but that'll be fun. What if I like what if some company owner comes to your table and then I accidentally insult their knife? <laughs> you probably See, that's the one thing. Trevor may insult your knife. Okay, so you need to be very careful. If you are a owner of a business and you designed a knife, you may not want to have Trevor review it because he will tell you if it sucks. Um, I think it sucks. He will not. Yes, exactly. He will insult your knife. Exactly, Delta. You need to record them. Okay, well, I mean, again, if I'm not busy at the time, I will record them. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> What is that? Uh, Ron, the knife you're referring to is this itty bitty guy. This is the watch pocket knife or WPK from Monterey Bay. Uh, it is a triple detent, as I'm calling it. Uh, you have a detent at the bottom. You have a half stop and a detent at the top. It is really hard to roll out. Uh, it is really intended to be a one-handed knife, but Casey says no. No, it's a two-handed knife. I'm one-handed knife. So 
It is titanium, and I don't even know what the steel is. I'll have to look it up. It's something. Um, and very tiny little knife, and you can see there it breaks pretty easy, so you need to be careful. Uh, but it's a really cool little knife, you know, if you just want something, uh, you know, to cut with. Truth can hurt. Knives fast. Tr Trev reviews fast. Now they're just called T Trev Turbo reviews. So he's crazy. Yeah, it's a decent knife, Jason. It is. Oh, come on, guys. Hit that like button. What's wrong with you guys? There's 85 in here and only 25 likes. Trevor, tell them. What? Uh, Pocket Razor says Trev Turbo reviews for the win. Nice. Pocket Razors with the five dollars super chat, huh? What am I telling him? God, uh, tell him to hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. There you go. And if you hit the thumbs down, that's cool too. That's oh, you can hit the thumbs down if you want. I don't care. <laughs> it's it's interaction with the channel, so go for it. We don't discriminate. No, we don't discriminate. But there's your your Dalika salute, <laughs> Trevor. You're a nut. T Rex, everything. Yes, he does. So it's gonna be interesting to see, Jim. Here's the thing. Trevor, listen up. He does not he does not actually handle knives very often. So I'm worried he's gonna cut himself. What? So what? No. So I hope not, because I don't need blood all over my table. Um so yeah, he's just gonna have to be really careful and hand the knives to you guys and let you open them. Uh <laughs> now he'll be fine. Um Everyone needs to turbo review the like button. There you go. <laughs> that works. All right. So that is the Monterey Bay Knives WPK. All right. So the one I was about to show is the Asher Knives Aspiro Warney. This is in silver twelve carbon fiber. Very cool. Slicey knife with some great action and a wonderful detent. Very nice. Okay, we'll get him to wear gloves, Ron. That works. Uh, the last one, really, there's two others here, but they're just uh, kind of here. I've already reviewed them. Uh, the last one is this beauty. Guys, this um, is probably one of the most beautiful handle materials I've seen. I don't like mossy green, but I like this. This is the uh, moss vintage moss brown bone uh, Rosecraft, crap, the name of the thing, Nola Chucky Jack. These drop tomorrow, and when they do, you can go to traditionalpocketknives.com and use code KNIVESFAST10 for 10% off, and you can go to Rosecraft and use code KNIVESFAST for 10% off, okay? So don't forget those codes, because I know you're going to want one of these tomorrow with this beautiful spear point blade. When you get one, Use that code at either one of those two places. It's in the description, not of this video, but in my regular videos. Um, and uh, yeah, check it out. I like 14C for regular EDC globby. Globby Bobby. I like that. Um, uh, wait, what did that say? You can put a GoPro helmet mount on Trev and let him just go. Well, okay, all right. See you, Aries. No, it's not, Ron. Uh, it is not. You would think it would be, but it's definitely not. I mean, it's not like super grippy, but I would not call it slick. Not for me, at least. Uh, 14C is a steel I've uh, made two of my knives in, and uh, 14C holds up really nicely. Uh, it's good. Um, takes a good edge. The only thing about 14C I will say is it scratches. So one of the reasons I've moved to 154CM, a lot of people have noted noted that they didn't like all the scratches they were getting on their blade. 154 holds up a little bit better, but 14C is fine. If you don't care about your knife getting scratched because you're, you're using your knife, then that's fine. Been looking at a sweet little fixed blade. Very, can you tell us what it is? Very cool, Jim. They drop tomorrow, but I don't even know what time. Um, but yeah, I like, I like 14C. A lot, very much. So that's kind of all the knives I wanted to cover. If you guys have any questions, I'll take like three or four more minutes here, and then I'm going to wrap it up uh, so I stop interrupting Trevor and uh, Trevor's movie over here or whatever he's watching. We're watching... Oh, Alone? No. No. The Masters? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Yeah. Why? I don't know. You're bald. I'm bald? Yeah. Wow, guys, I'm bald. Don't you. If you start throwing crap at me again or hit me with a. You hit the TV. I hit the TV. Yes, sir. Nice. Uh, okay, I'm not, I'm not familiar with that one, Globby. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, Kev, get some rest. What time is it over there? Must wake up very early today, so it's already day. It's already Monday for him. He should already be in the bed, is what he's saying. <laughs> I, I am, Ron. I gotta. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to go back up and finish uh, doing some more uh, Masters watching with my other son, Bradley. Um so uh, that's why I'm about to get off of here so I can go watch some more golf. Uh, last I looked, Scotty Scheffler was just lapping the field anyway, though. You want my hair dry? <laughs> there you go. There you go, Pocket Rangers. We'll just put the hat back on. Does that help? Uh, it just, it all, the hat always shadows my face, and I hate the way it looks. So that's why I take the hat off a lot of the time. I haven't been watching all day because I've been doing a bunch of work trying to get the bathroom remodel done. I've got to go do a second coat of waterproofer on the shower here in a minute um, and uh, eat some dinner and that kind of stuff. I don't play it very often anymore. I used to play golf all the time, Treddy. I just stopped because I, golf is one of those, if you don't play golf all the time, you lose the muscle memory. You really do. When I was playing all the time, yeah, I am, Ron. Uh, when I was playing all the time, I was pretty good. Uh, when I stopped playing regularly, I'm only played like five times a year, it became tough. Uh, same thing with disc golf. If I go two weeks without playing disc golf, which it's been about a week, uh, but if I go two weeks without playing disc golf, uh, you can really tell that I've gone two weeks without playing. Um, you got to play. You got to play. Same thing with regular golf. And the thing about disc golf is once you buy your discs, it's cheap. Regular golf, you know, I can't play 40, pay $40 every time I want to go have fun. So, uh, so Jacob... The answer is make sure, uh, make sure, I don't know, Treddy, make sure you get the Boss Heat Treat. It'll say that on the packaging. If you get a 420HC from Buck that's got the Boss Heat Treat, I will swear by that. If you just get their regular um, uh, 4, 420 uh, that's not Boss Heat Treated, forget about it, uh, in my opinion. So you definitely want to get one that's got the Boss Heat Treat. Um, what is happening? Give me something to turbo review. Give you something to turbo review? Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever this was, he just chucked off the that's, table. So goes with that. Oh. It's my camera mount. I don't know what he want. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm big risk here. Let's see. Um... Um, something he would actually like. All right, we're going to do this. Now, do me a favor. Don't drop this. All right, come on over here. He's going to review the Holt Morpheus for you guys. I'm supposed to show my face. Yeah, but you can. You don't have to. All right. Well, here. We'll do this. All right, there you go. Don't drop it and don't hit me. And put it on camera. So this is the whole Morpheus. What's up, Jeremy? I got to get back to golf in a minute. Oh, just finished mowing the yard. I did that yesterday. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I hope so. It's a $1,000 knife. <laughs> I'll give you $3 for it. No, you will not give me $3 for it. And some, so, and some pimento So no other comments? And pimento. No other comments, just 10 out of 10. What, Wasn't it custom made for you? Uh, they're, they're, they are custom made, but yeah, I, not for me, but yes. Oh. It was given to me by somebody who bought it. Gotcha. But they are custom made one the, at a time. The uh, the blade looks like the texture on the blade. You like that? Mm -hmm. What about the texture on the handle? I'm not usually a fan of it, but I do like it on that one. Okay, he gave it a ten out of town. He get ten out of town. Ten out of ten. Yeah, he didn't drop it. He didn't drop it. We're good. <laughs> Trevor. 
They want to know how you can even see the knife with your hair hanging down in your face. Uh, there you go, Byron. He said, KC saying don't drop this is pot, pot calling kettle. You know what I mean? Yep. What? What's going on over there? Oh, gosh. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap it up because I'm going to go watch some golf. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. We have more than we ever have. This is the most amount of, of likes I've gotten in the middle of a stream, but let's Tell you what, give me a flood right before we hang up here. I want like five more. Come on, give me give me a thumbs up, and I'm hopping off of here. So, guys, uh, don't forget, tomorrow night, 745 KF Live right here on YouTube. Uh, KF Live, and we're going to have a blast. No guest. I had two people sort of lined up. Both had to cancel. We'll keep working on it. Yes, I'm trying to get David Blade Banner on from QSP, but um, he, he's we're waiting till the new QSPs are about to come in. All right, guys, hit the. Oh, we got four more. Can we get one more? One more. One more. Come on, one more. When we get one more, I'm hanging up. One more, and that'll give me my 36 that I had targeted there. All right, I'm not gonna wait. Wait, come on, somebody hit it. Somebody hit the like. Anyway, but guys, um, he's not, he doesn't, he doesn't have a store anymore, uh, Delta. He closed his store up. So that's why we don't have him on anymore. He closed his store and doesn't even do knives anymore. Oh, we lost a like. Nice. Nice. They didn't want you, you said you would end it when they reached 36. So, so they don't want me to end it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. What up, homie? Good to see you, Corbin. Welcome, welcome. Ah, oh, come on. It keeps going up and down. What are you guys doing? Give me two more likes. Um, all right. Ron, have a good one. Uncle Cow, hello. Good to see everybody. All right. Jim says it says 36 on his end. So we're going to get off of here. Have a great one, y'all. Uh, happy Sunday. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel. See you